This is the hardware to power the decentralized web. A bunch of $30 computers that we attach a radio to and then hook them up to form internet connection. To show the scalability of the system, we have about 6,000 people connected right now on hardware that was paid for and is effectively free. All technology can be used for good or bad. Take nuclear bombs. It can blow things up or it can power cities. So right now, the internet depends upon Google, Facebook, Amazon for the internet to work. But that's not how the internet was originally built. Mark Nadal is a dreamer. He's a tech entrepreneur who longs for a world with less greed and more community. He believes the internet will make this possible, just not the internet we have now. Next here tonight, Alexa, are you listening? New revelations that the Amazon device may not be the only one hearing our conversation. You're in the market for new sunglasses. Then suddenly, weirdly, you see an ad for sunglasses on Instagram. Is Facebook really reading your messages? Yes. I think there's a growing suspicion that the web is betraying us, that it's spying on us, uh, that it's kind of gone wrong. This is Brewster Kale. He's an early internet entrepreneur and the founder of the Internet Archive. Like Mark, he believes in rethinking how the internet should operate. I don't think we really understood the, the growth of the platforms, the, the Facebook, Google, Amazon becoming so dominant. The decentralized web is an attempt to go and upgrade the web technologies to get around some of these problems. The internet currently works thanks primarily to data stored on centralized private servers owned by various large companies. So even if you hate Amazon and never use Amazon, odds are that many of the websites you do use rely on Amazon's servers to exist. Mark is one of a growing number of technologists advocating for a decentralized, community-based internet, one where data isn't hoarded by these big companies. The concept is called the D-Web. For me, everything that we know about the internet today that's owned by companies could be replaced and run by communities. That not only gives us a more fair system, but it's also more free. The decentralized web solves cutting out the monopoly middlemen. And that's important because they often take a large cut of everybody's earnings or of their data. And those companies can decide who to censor and who to promote. The websites of a decentralized internet would be hosted via a peer-to-peer -peer framework. The information would be distributed and stored around the world on laptops, phones, and even smart appliances. Essentially, the internet would be owned, operated, and shared by its users, like Napster, but for everything. Mark's startup, ERA has secured venture capital funding to develop decentralization technology. And he built a database called GUN, which has been used to create decentralized versions of YouTube and Reddit. The World Wide Web is 25 years old, and um, it's time for a little bit of a bringing it up to date, uh, making it so that it respects user privacy, is reliable, and is the web we want to live with. It's the cultural record of our time. Let's make something great as the base level of that overall technology. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.